Hey, my name's Steve Gurney. Um, I'm a, a, a multi-sporter, you know, a triathlete, and I, I bike a lot by commuting. And so I thought I'd like to contribute my ideas from the cycle point of view for the rebuild of, of the new Christchurch. And um, so I'm realising we've got to be realistic that there's only a certain amount of budget. Uh, and, and so I thought, what sort of things could we do that creates, you know, the 80% of the results or 20% of the effort? And I thought, you know, starting, I, I thought I'd look at just the basics. You know, what do cyclists really want? And I think, you, you know, most people are aware of many things, but um, the first issue that stops people biking is perceived safety. And it's usually just a perception, you know, um, uh, about it being unsafe. Um, another one is we need cycleways that are direct to target. So looking at where, where do most of people bike from, uh, and, and for commuting, you know that seems to me to be the best target. You know the, t- the commuting side of it, um, and the other requirement is it's enjoyable, that it's speedy w- without bumps and interruptions like um, curbs and you know out of the way diversions. Um, so in other words, you know the cycleway needs to be. Uh, a properly sealed, smooth surface instead of going up a curb and on, along a, an old footpath and back on the road again. Those sorts of things don't work. Uh, cyclists want visibility by, you know, by other users, uh, such as cars, um, and that it's swept regularly to, you know, to get the glass and debris off. Uh, and it seems to me, on my personal opinion, that uh, sharing a cycleway on a road where car doors can open just doesn't work. You know, Every time I ride like that, I get many doors opened on me um, without exception and so I generally ride out where the cars are and treat the cycle lane as a door opening zone. Um, so I, I request that those things get incorporated into cycle lanes on roads that are getting rebuilt, um, that the cycle lane is separated from the road if possible and that in the city there's smooth, easy, non-bumpy, you know, like, like direct um, uh, and enjoyable paths that are, that are connecting uh, common targets for cyclists. Of course, we, um, the other major issue is what happens when we get to our destination. Um, a lot of cyclists aren't prepared to leave their bikes because of uh, getting stolen. I'd like to see um, a cycle floor, if you like, on a bus exchange, combined with a bus exchange, um, where uh, cyclists can securely leave their bikes for the day in a cubicle or a, a mesh cube of some sort. Perhaps a shower block, we pay, I don't mind paying. And uh, we know that our cycle's secure, that we can have a shower, leave some clothes in the locker. Uh, there may be a cycle repair uh, shop there that can repair things like punctures or a, a chain that needs fixing, maintenance on the bike. Um, so that we leave a bike in the morning, go to work, have it repaired and come back and, and know that it's fin- uh, fixed. And another thing that cyclists love is, is, is not so much about the cycling, it's the excuse to meet other cyclists. And so if we had a cafe that was nice, you know, with plants and things, and a chance to meet lots of other, other like-minded people, I think that that would encourage more cycling also. The other thing with the bus exchange combined is that, let's say some people who aren't too keen on cycling decide to ride to work, it rains, they don't want to ride home in the rain, they can just leave their bike securely there, catch the bus home, uh, or vice versa. Um, so I'd like to see you know, not just a central bus exchange, but this happening in several satellite locations around the place where people work. Those are my basic ideas. Of, of course, I'd love to see a city with um, some more sunshine getting in instead of the high-rise buildings. I'm thinking that will probably happen anyway. Uh, and lots, a lot more green space. Uh, and, it, you know, it's a nice place to, go, to, to actually cycle through. And, and rather than getting frustrated by having to deal with cars, we find it's actually a stress-free um, and enjoyable place to meet other cyclists and meet other people and save petrol. Those are my basic ideas, thanks.